So it's time for our second crossover here on Beyond the Trailer with Agent of Style. So for those who are not familiar with Agent of Style, why don't you tell them what your show is all about? Well, basically, uh, on newsarama.com, I do a weekly column, Agent of Style, and sometimes there's videos, and uh, I talk about the design history of different characters and how they start off and how their costume or look, whatever, has changed over the, the years and the decades. And for you Agent of Style fans who might not be familiar with Beyond the Trailer, it's movie news, reviews, and costume discussions. So we're going to discuss the latest movie costumes. There seem to be leaks every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a major one that just was out this week that you found, and it's pretty shocking. It's, it's quite a fit on Henry Cavill. Yeah, I think like... Uh, you need the red underpants. <laughs> I don't necessarily need the red underpants, but I do need something to break up the bodysuit, like at least yeah. a belt or something. Who would wear a giant blue body stocking? It reminds me of the Green Lantern costume, to be honest. Because you're not sure where to look. Yes. <laughs> look, at, it, look at Superman's eyes. Look in his eyes. <laughs> <laughs> this, it's like, we're going to do the Superman costume, but we're kind of embarrassed by the Superman costume, so we want to disguise it. I don't think it. anything could be more embarrassing than... It, there's just a lot here I'm not crazy about. I don't like the weird wing design kind of going down his sides. I don't like the bracers oh, that he's yeah. wearing. It gives it kind of an it's armored like, feel again. And, you know, comic book revisions aside recently, I don't think of any character who needs armor less than Superman. <laughs> no, it's true. And he's also, he's armored in all the wrong places. Yeah, his wrists, yeah. His wrists are really secure. I also hate the palette. I hate that it's so, sort of this muted... I washed my costume too many times. <laughs> yeah, look, you yeah, know? I like that. That's funny. And, I, and also, it makes me wonder if his cape is going to be added digitally. And speaking of capes, Ursa now apparently has a cape. Yeah. And I don't like that. No, it's like everyone has a cape. It's like yeah. Krypton was a cape-wearing community. Yeah, I'm I'm not <laughs> a fan of that. Uh, I kind of like the old school Ursa outfit that was like a kimono of sorts. And if they're going with the idea from the past and from the comics that Ursa is a military type person then actually I want her outfit to be more practical. Well I, think, well, I think the whole idea is that it's all military, right? Like this is Superman's outfit, it's like the Kryptonian military look. There are very few characters I think of who are less military thinking than Superman. Oh, totally. Superman is not, you know, I'm it's a soldier UN. and da 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 da. Yeah. Like look, I, I'm a kid from Kansas who thinks you should help people and not be a jerk. And you know, I'll fight, but I think Superman is defined by his morality, and I think the Superman that I know, and I think most people know, would not wear that outfit. I think yeah. That's another good point. I think like, they'd have to be changing his personality. This doesn't say Superman to me. But it, it says very alien, actually, when you think about the yeah. piping they've put on it and the detail work. It's moving him back toward that alien thing, and I right. think Superman is never... He's never been popular because he's an alien. They're right. just like, why can he do all this stuff? Uh, oh yeah, he's an alien. Yeah. We finally have a couple photos here of Talia. I dig the look they've given her. Yes. Well, we know a lot of this movie was shot in India. Right. So it has like that influence of, of the Far East. It's done the same style that uh, you saw Rachel Gould's people wearing in mm -hmm. the first movie. It's got a slightly regal feel to it. Exactly, it has an air of authority. It, it actually does feel very much like the princess is like, okay, I'm gonna come out in the field. Yeah, but it's also got some practicality to it. You can see it, it definitely looks like something she can fight in if she has to. She can move easily in it. Well, that's what's so great about Nolan's universe, that it's so real world. Yeah. This is something, I mean, if she was just walking down the street in New York, you would be like, oh, okay, fashion forward. Yeah. Right, I mean, so it works so well in that world, which is what I like about it, which is interestingly what I don't like about the Bane costume. And it's got this kind of weird harness, plus what looks like a weightlifter's belt. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and this funky mask. My concern here is that he looks to me very much like a henchman. Mm. This isn't like a leader, this isn't the big right. bad of the movie. So unless there's gonna be like a reveal, or it's Talia, Right. Who's pulling all the strings, which would be cool. But let's move on to Catwoman, the yes. topic of much discussion. Anne Hathaway, to the negative response, was like, you don't, you've only seen a tenth of what this suit can do. And so I'm like, is it reversible, maybe? I mean, I don't know what else it could do. It really looks like the Catwoman costume that Catwoman's been wearing recently, but minus the mask, which unfortunately is what makes it a Catwoman costume. And the coolest thing about it, those goggles are right. awesome. Like, also, who doesn't like wearing a good pair of goggles? No, Everyone exactly. Everyone has a pair. Every comic book fan secretly has a pair. I have a pair of goggles. They're awesome. I mean, what I'm <laughs> hoping is that 
this is sort of a proto costume before she decides to really become Catwoman. But I have to say, I like the suit better on the stunt woman than I do on Anne Hathaway. It looks more utilitarian, it looks a little bit more serious, whereas this, the, the publicity shot of her, it's more interested with her being attractive right. than badass. Right. If there's no whip, I'm going to be very disappointed. Well, here's the thing, you can't make her just a female Batman. Right. And so that's the question, is she, like, is she Robin? Like, Christopher Nolan has said, no Robin ever. Right, so you don't I, want her to step into that role. She should still be Catwoman. Yeah, I agree. Do you think she should have ears? I would be, you know, at the very least, I would like the kind of cat eye goggles. But I say go for the ears. I, you know, Batman has ears. Batman has a cowl. I don't see why we can't push the envelope further. Well, I think if she doesn't have the ears and she doesn't have the whip and stuff, like, why would anyone call her Catwoman? Where's right, that why bother at that point? You know, one thing I would like to say about the female costumes is that while I was a little tough on them, refreshingly, they're not too revealing, which is something that a lot of people complain about. You know, a lot of women are like, I'm not going to read comics because look at the women are walking around it, and that's ridiculous. Right. Right. No, I mean, some characters you've got where it's, where it's just like, well, gravity doesn't work with you, obviously. <laughs> or, a lot of hairspray I sprayed on myself yeah. before I went out today. You have incredible <laughs> body tape. Talia and Catwoman, they're, they're sexy, but they're not hanging out. They're not... Well, it's, it's a sexiness that women would be like, I'd like to wear that. I mean, that's the most successful version of sexiness, where guys yeah. are like, oh, that looks hot. And women are like, I'd love to, you know, I would like to, that was a cool outfit. I would yeah. wear that, you know? Amazing Spider-Man. It's interesting. It is different from the comics, but not in any way that, you know, offends me or freaks me out. It's, it's just little details. I don't like the posing, though, I have to say. Yeah, and some of the still shots, yeah, it's, uh... I don't understand why anybody would do that. He's like, look, I have to carry out my theme. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's a specialized outfit, but it looks like it's meant to well, get your looked... hands dirty a little bit. Yeah, exactly. I'm very utilitarian, and also, like, it has a lot of flexibility, a lot of stretch. Yeah which I think obviously Spider-Man would need. I mean, the basic elements are still there. Like, the, the belt doesn't connect anymore, and he's now got a, a red section like going down. I like that better, though. Let's discuss, why does this work? This, why does this body stocking work? But Superman's like, hey, I have the same colors. You guys suck. Why are you giving all this praise to Peter Parker, and you're making fun of me? I mean, <laughs> I think one thing is that this is embracing it's a superhero costume. Yes. Like I said, the Superman outfit seems to be come, trying to come off as, well, it's body armor, and it just happens to... You could mistake it for a costume, but it's really body armor. That's a good point. I think it's like, you get the feeling that the Superman producers are like, this is lame, but we can't really change it yeah. because we're stuck. Yeah, which is, it's dumb because there's no need to hide that Superman's a superhero. Well, also, I think the physique might help here. You know, like a wiry, skinny guy looks a lot better in a body stocking yeah. than like a big, muscular guy who's going to look a little awkward. Right, that's the other thing. Henry Cavill doesn't look like he can move that well in his outfit. His outfit yeah. looks very stiff. Well, we know that Chris Hemsworth said that was the case, actually, for Thor, that he had trouble moving. Yeah. It was partially his own fault because he worked out too much. Yeah. But still, that happens. What do you think? Leave your comments down below, and be sure to check out Agent of Style on Newsarama.com and Crazy Sexy Geeks here on YouTube, and Beyond the Trailer on the channel you're watching, uh, YouTube.com slash Beyond the Trailer. Take care.